we're going to talk a little bit about the anatomy and physiology of the spine, specifically three parts of the spine, cervical, thoracic and lumbar. In the cervical, you have seven vertebrae. In the thoracic, you have 12 vertebrae, also housing your ribs. And in the lumbar, you have five vertebrae. Now, coming down from the brain all the way to the bottom of the spine is housing your spinal cord, which has all your nerves coming down and branching out to where their various destinations. Movements of the spine include forward flexion, extension, side flexion, and slight rotation. For starting from the top around the cervical and the occipital ridge, you've got your trapezius, which comes out to the shoulder and down to here in a sort of diamond shape. At the side of your neck, you've got your scalene muscles that attach onto the ribs. Coming here, we've got your rhomboid muscles, which are used for rowing. Coming down a little further, you've got your latissimus dorsi, which has like a pull down kind of movement. And then moving down to the lumbar spine, you've got your quadratus lumborum, which attaches between your hips and your last rib. Running down the entirety of the spine, you've got muscles known as your multifidus and erector spinae muscles. 